New research from Tufts University says nearly 40 million members of Gen Z are eligible to vote in the upcoming presidential election. Eight million of them are first-time voters. New at 10, Lucas Kim has you covered on the impact they might have on the results. These high levels of enthusiasm persist. That could speak toward a high level of turnout among Gen Z voters. A recent study by Tufts University found that more than 40 million members of Gen Z will be eligible to vote in the upcoming presidential election. But the question is, will those 18 to 27 year olds show up to the polls? Professor of Political Science at UW-Madison Howard Schwaber says Democrats are trying to motivate Gen Z to get to the polls more than ever. It certainly seems to be the case that this is a potential goldmine uh, of voters who, if they can be motivated and if they can be helped to get over some of the obstacles. Schwaber says Gen Z tends to lean more liberal than any other generation, but it doesn't mean they all support those Democratic views. Gen Z voters do not describe themselves as enthusiastic supporters of the Democratic Party necessarily. Uh, and that was particularly true when Biden was the candidate. With the presidential election on the horizon, new ideas and thoughts are brought to the table. Members of Gen Z, Grace and Jacqueline, believe there is a clear difference between ideas now versus those of older generations before them. We're like probably a lot more focused on like equality kind of topics. Definitely more like eco-friendly things and like just c taking care of the environment more. Although surveys put Gen Z as more liberal, Schwaber says it might not be the case for up and coming voters. So looking at even younger voters, those who will not be able to vote in this electoral cycle, um, show up on polling data as a little bit more conservative, a little bit more moderate than Gen Z uh, voters. Schwaber does not expect Gen Z to have a significant impact on the primary elections this Tuesday due to their concentrated focus on the presidential election. In Madison, Lucas Kim, 27 News.